2003 to 2007 Honda Accords. I don't know if they'll work with other year of Accords or if they'll work with other Hondas. I don't know. You could certainly try, but no promises. So this is only for when the driver's side window is working, but none of the other three are working, even when you press this. This deactivates the other three windows, and what happens, apparently it's a known issue with the Honda Accord of this year, um, is it gets shorted or stuck or something, but it's like it's always activated. So if your driver's side window is not working, or if one of the other three windows stops working, but the other ones are working, don't even bother trying this, it won't work. Okay, here's all the tools that you'll need for this repair. You'll need a screwdriver or some other pry tool, like a plastic pry tool, to get the switch away from the door. You need a Phillips head screwdriver with a medium to small driver bit. And you'll need a very small jeweler's Phillips head screwdriver, something that's longer than this. This one was not long enough. It needs to be about that long. So one that's used for eyeglass repair might work, as long as it's I'd say at least a couple inches long, about 50 millimeters. This one was not long enough. If you're like me and you all you have is a short one like this, you'll need a drill with a drill bit that's about 11 30 seconds inch. That's what this one is, eight and a half millimeters. Doesn't have to be ex exactly that size, just big enough to drill out the holes so that you can fit the screwdriver in there. And finally, you'll need a soldering iron and some solder. Uh, it's possible if you don't have any solder, but you do have a soldering iron, to just use the solder that's already on the connections on the PCB. The next thing that you need to do is take out the four Phillips head screws. One, two, three, four. I've already taken mine out, so it'll lift off of here. You turn it around, take the child safety switch, and pull it straight off. Put it aside. Next thing that you have to do is get this middle part out of the black plastic casing here. And to do that, you need to remove a Phillips head screw that's inside there. It's very small, so you need a screwdriver with a very small driver head, but it also needs to be fairly long, longer than this. Mine was not long enough to fit in there. So what I actually did, since I didn't want to go out and buy a new screwdriver, I used a drill bit just to drill out the hole a little bit so it would fit inside. This is an 11 30 seconds inch drill bit, eight and a half millimeters. Doesn't have to be exactly that size, just whatever will allow your screwdriver to fit inside there. Once you take that out, you need to just take a flathead screwdriver, one other prying tool, and you need to slide it in here, be careful. There's little tabs there that are holding it in. They, are, they do feel pretty delicate though, so I think that it could break. Now this was a little bit tricky until I figured this out. There's a little line right there, and inside there's a plastic thing. It gives you something to press the screwdriver against. To pull it out like that and so you do it on the other side and if you wiggle it around a little bit it'll come out make sure that all the tabs have been released at this point you can actually use your fingernails just to pull the tabs away or not use the screwdriver there we go so now you see the PCB. Now we need to solder two connections together. Let me show you where to start. From this little white dot here, there's a screw. We start at the row right next to that, the column. One, two, three, the third one up. This one that I'm pointing to right here. That right there. Third one up, we're gonna solder that to this top row right here. One, two, three, four, the fourth one. Right there. So we're gonna use a little bit of wire, something small, some braided copper wire, and that should fix it. Get a little bit of solder on the wire. Then go to that post, the third one up. And be very careful not to bridge these connections. You can put the tip of the soldering iron right on the solder joint there while you hold the wire onto it. You don't need much, just a tiny amount. You don't want it going over to any of the other joints. And that's what it's gonna look like when it's done.
After I soldered it and I took a real close look at this connection here, it turned out that I had gotten a little bit of solder connecting these two connections. I took a razor blade and I was able to carefully carve away just by pressing down and scraping, carve away that little solder connection. And looking very closely, I was made sure to get it clean between there. And give it a gentle tug on both sides to make sure it's properly connected. And you're all set. It works. I had left this broken for long enough that the windows had kind of cemented shut from pollen or gunk or something like that. So what I had to do was I had to kind of bang on the window a little bit while I pushed the button and that loosened it up enough because I could hear it trying, but it works.